Oh, hello everyone. <clears throat> Today you've caught me uh, very much out of my comfort zone. And I'm gonna have to apologize straight away to my good friend, Nick, at, during the mean whilst, because I'm plagiarizing your channel for a change, Nick. Um, it's been ages since I've done any macro work and I know you've been doing a lot of late. <clears throat> so this morning I've come out with the EM1 Mark II tripod. <laughs> <laughs> I know, don't laugh. Um, the 30 millimeter Zuiko macro lens. And um, I'm doing some shots of, guess what? Mushrooms. I'll just show you. Don't think I can get too close, but basically it's just that group there because the majority of these have been eaten. Obviously this is on a heap of tree bark that has been piled up by the ground staff here so uh, something's been having a go at the majority of them there are lots and lots but I just decided to concentrate on these ones down here in front of the lens so I've made use of the um, focus stacking facility on the um, EM1. So I have no idea how successful it's going to be. Uh, you will see the results, however good or bad they might be. Uh, they're all uh, 10 frames um, with a separation between each of the midpoint, which is five. Not sure whether that's five mil or what it is, but the, the midpoint on the scale is at five. So that's what I've used. It's one of the first times I've used it, so I'm learning as I go. But I'll let you have a look at the results and you can tell me what you think. Right then, <clears throat> time to settle down for a little bit, I think, of internet, internet retail therapy. Mankini, or a thong maybe. Hey, calm oh, down, calm on. down. That's all right, always Teddy, happens right, when yeah. I... Calm down, calm down, calm down. Alan? Yeah, 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 Slow down, slow down. Oh. Oh, it's no good, mate. You're gonna to have to email me. Okay. Yeah, I know you're excited, but you're gonna to have to email me, okay? Ta -da. <clears throat> oh, he's all excited. He wants me to look at some mushroom photos he's, he's taken. There's many mushrooms in Liverpool, surely. Well, you know, apart from the, you know, dodgy kind. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Oh dear God. Hang on. Let's see if the second one's any better. I was about to start, really. Um, it's, you know, I mean, they're all right. The framing's all out on this one. This needs to be cropped to a 16 by 9. And this one, well, half of the mushroom's missing there. That's not good. Oh, I don't know. I thought Alan was a good photographer. Oh well. <sighs> Let's get back to him. I'll um I'll send him a voice text. That's the best thing. Hi Alan, uh, looked at your mushrooms, mate. Absolutely top draw. Couldn't fault them. Alright, fella. Uh put them into that competition. You'll walk it. Every time I come down here, <clears throat> it's very local to me. And I think I'm right in saying it's the largest um, public 
park in Liverpool, but every time I come down here, I'm reminded of a good old friend of mine who is now sadly no longer with us, a real gentleman and an absolute genius in social photography, a Mr. Reg Coleman. Now Reg, when I knew him, lived over on the Wirral. He was a fellow of the Royal Photographic Society, deservedly so. And he helped me put together my panel to get my qualifications for the BIPP, the British Institute of Professional Photography. So um, we got along very, very well. Prolific photographer, film photographer, did his own color printing as well as black and white, um, but was a real character and an absolute gentleman sadly missed but whenever I said oh I've been around Sefton Park at the weekend Reg he'd go you can't do that that's that's my patch you're not allowed on there <laughs> typical Reg a, a, a great guy well it's early October now and the leaves are just starting to turn I'm not sure whether it's going to be one of those years where they fall very quickly or not there's a very light breeze today, which was a bit of an issue with those uh, fungus, fungi shots that I've just done and talked about. Uh, might completely ruin them. You'll see them whether they're good or not. Um, so I've come out today, as I've already hopefully proven, <laughs> with the EM1 tripod, 30mm macro. I've even bought, Nick, you'll be impressed, I've even bought the little LED um, lamp light, which you reviewed a few weeks ago. Uh, I've been looking for one for ages, so cheers for that. I bought that with me. Didn't have to use it for the shots I've just done because they were out in fairly good lighting conditions. Uh, but that's in the backpack, along with the 12 to 50, which I always put in, and even the 100 to 300. Uh, now, I'm not quite sure whether I can get any shots using the 100 to 300. I want to try and get some compression of uh, distance, compressed perspective with some trees, which I can see in the distance, but they're not really, they haven't really turned enough yet. But we might give it a go while I'm here. I'll be honest with you, and as much as I struggle to find subject matter, close-up subject matter, uh, that is anything that isn't a rusty old bolt or nut or peeling piece of wood and paint <laughs> with natural history subjects. I struggle. <laughs> it's just me, I guess. Proves it's sort of horses for courses, really. Anyway, I'm going to take a walk in the direction over there behind the camera, dig out the 100 to 300 and just see if I can get some compression of distance of those trees. We'll see. So you can see this long line of trees running away from me in a nice arc into the far distance. Um, sadly this is on one of the main approach roads to the Palm House. So as well as being busy with pedestrian traffic it's also the main access for people attending functions at the Palm House with their cars. So I'm probably going to have to do some cloning out if I get anything worthwhile. Quite a short outing really. Um, very flat lighting, which I think for the mushroom fungi shots is a bonus. 
not so much with the other ones. I'm hoping I've got a keeper with the 100 to 300 of some leaves that have turned or are turning. It's funny how sometimes when you're out and about, I mean, I've walked down here today. It's probably taken me half an hour to get here and it'll be another half hour to get back home. An hour's walk and probably another 30, 45 minutes here in the park looking for subject matter. But it's funny how sometimes it just doesn't click. It doesn't gel. I guess we all have that. It's part of the reason why we probably keep on going out and about with our cameras. The column at the end, by the way, marks one of the main entrances into Sefton Park. So I'm practically at the end of Sefton Park. And beyond that is Princess Park. And beyond that is home. If I get any more subject matter, screaming at me to take a photo. I'll put them up at the end. But if not, I'm gonna say, as always, enjoy your photography. Even on those occasions when things just don't click for you. And I'll see you all very soon. So take care. Bye for now. <laughs>